35 coming to you through the Tartan Hot channel and uh, yeah, going to be working on a prop with this skeleton. So uh, a lot of haunts, especially home haunts or lower budget haunts, they will not be able to make everything or buy the most high end stuff. So they'll go to the store and they'll buy things like this. Posable skeleton for ten dollars from the Dollar General. I got two of these last year, and I did the effect where you melt the plastic on it, and then you make it look like you go over it with stain, and you make it look like the thing had been melted or, or burned to death. And um, but I'm not going to quite do that this time around with this one. I am out to make a bunch of oddity like skeleton. So I'm going to make this one look like it's a demon. So I have some coat hanger and I have some more and I'm going to uh, make wings for it and then I'll melt the plastic to the wings to the coat hanger frame of the wings. Other thing I'm going to do is remove the arms and I'm going to uh, wire them up. I've got some of this wire right here so that the arms stick out this way like as a, a bat with his wings <coughs> and um, and then well that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the arms that way to give it a little bit creepier look to it. Um, I also might uh, fabricate some fangs for the um, for the teeth, and I might put a couple of horns on on the skull of the head. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be working on, and uh, this will be like a, a slow ongoing project. There's going to be some other uh, oddity, like little skeletons, roughly of this size, that I'll be working on and doing various things with, and all of this stuff is. Uh, for the haunt that we're really not doing this year because of COVID-19, but uh, we're just going to start prepping for what we do next year. So um, anyway, the haunt theme that we'll be doing next year, well as of now, unless something changes, that probably won't change, is going to be carnival themed, so we're probably going to have an oddity section in the haunt. So, all right, follow along and you get to see how this is done. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm loosening the screws back here on the shoulders so that I can take the arms out because they don't bend out on their own. So once I take them out, I'm going to have to do some mods, drill some holes, and wire them all together. So um, it's a process because these screws, some of them are recessed really deep, and a regular screwdriver... I've got several regular screwdrivers. They're not fitting it real well, so I'm using this like little torque set that I've got to get out these screws. And there's one screw in here that is really, maybe I'm getting it now. All right, YouTube. I actually couldn't get that screw out, so I just broke the piece out. A little piece of it broke off. And I will saw off the rest of that as intended. It was going to come off anyway. I was just trying to do it in a clean way. So this one, both screws are out, so all you have to do is do that. And it's that simple. And please excuse all the background here, you know. I have nothing to do with it. So let's see here. Take this nice, what I call an exacto saw. We get a nice clean cut to the edge. It's really not a good way to um, to secure this down. I could clean it, I guess. All right, I um, I got them removed and got those pieces off. And I actually just continued to use. The hand saw. So I'm going to take the sander on the Dremel and buzz those a little bit. I'm going to put these on to protect a little bit of dust from going into my eyes. If 
was to be even crazier about it, which isn't really necessary. Take a piece of sandpaper and smooth it up. Which I did it anyway, but it wasn't necessary. Here, like so, the right arm, and that's the left arm. And the concept is, is that I'm going to do that number. But then, so I have to drill through. There's a screw in here. So I have to make holes around the screw, but not too close to the screw because I still want some strength in there to wire these in like so. Alright, so I've determined I'm going to at least put two holes in here and then I'm going to have to put four holes around there. It's like two on the top and then two on the bottom. So, let's do that. Then I'm just going to use the Dremel. helpful to do that so you don't slip around too much. I just did. Alright, so I've marked where I'm going to put my holes. I'm going to put one there, I'll put one there, put one there, and one there. So. This I will light, I will stand for. Actually, prep holes with this. I mean, even after prepping, you still slip a little bit, but better to give it a shot. I wonder if I got a bit of tool for that on this. Give it a whirl. That was textbook. A lot of this is a experiment. I've not done this before, and I've never seen anyone quite do this. So, just just spewing around in my head. So I'm kind of making this up as I go along, kind of like that Indiana Jones quote. So, normally, if I was to do this, if I knew exactly what I was doing, and say I've done it before. I wouldn't attach one arm before I do the other one because it'll make it easier to work on the other arm to attach it. This, I mean, to work on drilling holes and stuff. But I'm going to attach one to make sure that it all works in case I need to drill um, like another hole or two uh, or three or four to make to make more wire connections to get it to be stable. So um, th then again, once when I put the um, the wings on, I might be able to do some wire attachments 
put the arms to the wings to make it be, be very stable too. So anyway, I'm going to use probably pick out a little bit more wire because when I wire through, I got a wire from from one end to there, through the other hole, out, and then through. So um, actually, the, the concept is, is that it will be twisted up inside. So really, what I'm doing is, is wiring it through this first, and then going through the top holes right, with the top hole here, and then with the pliers getting in there and twisting it tight. And then if I can cut off the excess or something with the Dremel, then I'll do that. So I'm going to kind of guesstimate that that is a good amount to work with. So. So this is going to be the fun part. And actually I got way too much wire so I'm going to actually take some of this off. I can actually probably take off most of it. Probably have enough wire for both. So. suspect that I will need to not pull it in too tight in order to get the, um, the bottom one in good. Um, that actually might not be long enough. Let me get one that is a little longer. I have drilled through the wrong angle with one of the holes, which isn't a huge problem. One wire pull tight.
now it's up to the stage of bundling these together in some of them and twisting them tight. So that'll be tricky, but it's for most intensive purposes. It is in there and it's going to work. All right, YouTube, I have got it in there pretty good. So I'm going to actually get in there with the cutting disc and buzz off that wire that is uh, poking out. So I'm going to make it shorter and then I'll get in there and bend it in. So. They are done as far as the arms. Uh, this one's a little bit rock. They're both kind of rocky, but I did get this one actually a little tighter. But um, I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. And uh, I will go from here. Um, probably start adding the coat hanger wire to the back. And what I'll probably do is then add one here. To give it like at least a curved bat wing shape and uh, I can also I noticed I can to make these arms bend forward I can actually take some of this out with the butt with the sander tool and I can do the same thing with the hands as buzz away some of this inner joint part so the hand will bend forward more so I might do some of that just to be, do some customization um, and then go from there. All right, so I'm going to try to customize that a little bit. So it looks like it's more, see how it, it stops right there? So if I take out some of this, I can bring, bring it forward a little bit more. So that's what I'm going to do. I believe so in trying to modify this one taking out so much plastic which to some degree is somewhat ruined but it'll be okay I realized that because of where the hole is in this when you go to roll it forward it just pops it out of the peg that's in there so I am actually going to switch hands and forearms with each other and put the reverse forearm in each one so this way the where it where rolls forward it'll, it'll it'll just be it'll work this time so it took me a while to figure that out but that was one way that i could do it okay so, so i'm taking this hand and putting it in this one over here and this hand over here And now this one is going to go in that one. There we go. And now it wants to bend forward just the amount that I want it to. How about that? Just the amount. Because I don't want it to bend all the way forward. So maybe they did put them on right. They're just cheaply made. Okay, so. So now it bends forward just the amount that I want. So I'll replicate that with the other one. All right, so now they bend forward. And uh, that's going to really help with the shaping of the wings. So I am really happy with that. So I will um, probably wire up and then sand her down, or it down, or him down. <laughs> and um, then I will uh, take a break. 
All right, I lied. I'm not taking a break. <laughs> so I'm going to, um, instead of trying to unbend these and straighten them out, you never get these straight and they never look good. So I'm going to actually use the cutting tool to cut them there where it's still straight and just discard that piece. It's not even worth it. Um, and this is a really thick one. For these wire hangers, there's you need a, you need a good uh, clipper to clip them by hand, so I'm just going to use the cutting tool to make it a lot easier. stable part to make wings. What works out about this is that the back will probably never be visible to, um, to people. Or was to just grab the two pieces and just twist them tight. I got it about the way I want it, so I can actually start to bend. So I know right there is a point, and I want to wire that. So what to do is take that. Basically, I'm putting a twist on it in the back. Like so. And then, I'm do the same thing as twist it tight. So that my hand and then really twist it tight with the pliers. one could even essentially take some tape and tape it to it to um, hold it in place because you could remove the tape once you've done all this and uh, or you can cover it up with the uh, pro process that you're doing. I think I'm going to do that. Be right back. Alright YouTube as promised I'm going to 
attach it, but I'm not going to use tape. I forgot I had the Velcro strips. So, for wires and things. So, I'm going to use that. And anybody that's used this stuff knows how awesome it is. And I'll hold it in place and I won't have to worry. So then I gotta continue to wrap wire at the joint spots to keep it in position. So I'll continue that. Alright YouTube, I'm ready to do that second part of the wing down here and there. So I'm just gonna, this is a lighter gauge uh, wire hanger so I should be able to clip through it with ease. A little bit of effort, so just like I thought. Before I do anything, I got to figure out about how long I want it to be. So that's pretty good. So I think if I clip it here in the middle. So with less mounting wire, and I just need to attach. I go through everything. So, and I have made up some pretty good props where I just I didn't really have a lot of plans to work with. But I, I got some pretty cool stuff done. So, yeah, I'm actually, am I twisting that in the right direction? All right, uh, I am now at a stopping point for a while. So, um, it's all wired in. I'll need to trim some of the wires in the back here and all that. Um, and, uh, then I'm going to have to sand it and because uh, the process of which I will paint and do all the other things to it I'll need things to be able to adhere to the plastic goods so anyway um, hang tight bear with me and uh, this will be a pretty cool build and a great prop for a haunt so it probably end up being like a centerpiece something that gets hung up high Probably attached to like a plaque or something like that. So.